Hey everybody, Alex Bigley. Uh, about to go see Three Stooges, the, the film uh, done by the same people who brought us Kingpin, Dumb and Dumber, and There's Something About Mary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> already, as far as, as far as I'm concerned, Something About Mary is already a nail in the coffin for this movie. That and the fact that Snooki's in it. You know, and, and the fact that I should not even know who the smeg that is. Uh, so, I mean, you know, I, I've seen the, the adverts, and it, I mean, this is a Three Stooges movie. The thing is, is that it's really difficult, is when you re try to recreate an icon like that, it's very difficult. Really. <laughs> Sorry, given traffic directions. Um, it's very difficult to hit the mark. Um, it's very difficult to, to be able to do it properly. So, one thing I kept saying with this is we'll see. Because, I mean, I, I want to give it a benefit, benefit of the doubt. So, next thing you'll see is me, me after the fact discussing the movie and whether or not I'm disgusted with the movie. So, see you in two and two. So, for the, in this case, it'd be two hours and two minutes. Roughly, I guess. Okay, uh, just got finished watching the film. Um, impressions, it's it's a good update. Uh, I'll give it that. Um, the only There's only a, a couple of things that I don't think fit in with the Stooges' brand of humor. And it's only because... Um, I guess that they were trying to update it a little too much with the... Uh, I don't know, I guess a little more risque or vulgar kind of humor that's prevalent nowadays. There was a scene with a lion where you get a full, you know, screenshot of his junk, which, you know, that's necessary because, uh, you know, someone was trapped in a lion's cage and a peanut flew off and hit him in the junk and he went wild. <sighs> um, there's, there was a scene in the hospital with a bunch of babies peeing all over the place and they were using them pretty much like water guns. It was funny. I just don't think that would have been something that the Stooges would have done. Again, I'm nitpicking. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, the other th there was a there was, there was a fart joke in there. Um, they were trapped in a car and uh, Curly farted, and they had to light a match in order to uh, get themselves out of it with an explosion. Um, and the what? The, out of everything in the movie, this is the one thing I hate. For those of you who who wait to watch, wait for something after the credits and movies, which is something that I normally do. <sighs> I, I don't know the name of the song. They're, they're, they they do a stupid music video for that song. It's a shame the way you rest, mess around with my heart or whatever. And it's, it's dumb. It, it, it is dumb with a capital seven. It's that's how it's just, bleh. I mean, other than that, um, basic impressions. It's it's a good movie. Um, there the storyline's basic. I mean, you can find this on their website, so I'm not spoiling anything. Um, a, f you know, they, they got dropped off of, at an orphanage while they're kids. Don't know where Shemp is. Um, but they have a friend of theirs named Teddy. Uh, Keen-eyed uh, Stooges fans uh, would uh, assume that that's a, uh, a comment to Ted Healy. Um, he ends up getting adopted while the other three get left behind. Um, years later, the orphanage is falling on hard times. They need money. So um, they go out into the world to try to earn the money, and they end up running into um, Teddy's wife, who is pretty much trying to convince them to kill Teddy uh, through some manipulation or whatever. So um goes on from there one thing one thing i will mention though that's kind of interesting is that they break up the acts in the film the three acts in the film like stooges short so <clears throat> they start with with the title card um with with the title of that act of the film uh which was very ingenious i have to admit that that's something that and it and it kind of brought back you know it kind of brings back the uh <clears throat> the uh, you know the old the old uh, movie uh, shorts that I did again I, I would have liked some kind of shimp reference in there um, I mean granted I know that I, you know most people anytime they think of the Stooges they always think Curly because as far as the shorts are concerned he's the one that did the most and he you know he was more he's more well known I understand that but at least I mean come on you did you did Tate Healy why not you know why not do shimp I mean he was one of the Howard brothers so. Um, 
anyway, good film. Uh, go go check it out. Like I said, there's a couple of the, the couple things in there. You know, giant. You know, lion. Uh, uh, giant lion balls. That's what it was. I mean, just right there in your grill. Uh, that's not. I don't need that. I'm sorry. Um, other than that, it's a Farley Brothers movie. If I'm pronouncing their name right. So yeah, I mean, it's PG. I actually thought it was gonna be PG-13. Uh, considering, you know, that they've done, like, there's something about Mary and Kingpin. I mean, Kingpin, there's, you know, Pale of Milk. That's all I'm going to say. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. If not, be, catch yourself lucky. Um, so they, they have a kind of humor that I was fearful for the Three Stooges movie. Um, whether there'll be a, sec a sequel is unknown. Um, I don't know. Time will tell. But uh, another thing that I, I, I don't think fit in and unfortunately really dates the movie. Um, anytime you work in present day celebrities, unless it's a cameo or unless it's a um, like like a hidden cameo, they're just playing the, like a part in, in the film. Like Larry David plays a nun in it and I just spat at the camera. That's wonderful. Good thing he's in 3D, huh? It um, <laughs> was really gross. Um, there was the whole cast of Jersey Shore and mentioned as being Jersey Shore. Now, I've never watched this show, and I think I'm a better human being in American for it, but <clears throat> it really dates the, the movie. And, you know, when years later from now, people are, you know, it's 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 like if I made reference to like road rules or you know the real world from MTV. I mean, a handful of people might remember that. I never watched them, but I know about them. So, by the way, road rules is pretty much the precursor to Amazing Race, and um, real world is pretty much a precursor to Big Brother, for lack of terms. Um, from what little I saw from the commercials. It was stupid. I can never get into that. I don't understand how people... Anyway, um, so it really dates the movie, and that's something I think that they should have uh, done without it. I think they should have created their own um, reality show, maybe included a couple people. I mean, granted, I'm sure people really wanted to see the cast of Jersey Shore get smacked around, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's... It, it, it At the cost of dating the movie like that, I, I don't think it was worth it. But, again, that's, that's my opinion, so... Um, real quick, also they, they did something right after the end of the movie, right at before the credits even. The Farley Brothers showed up, and they had a table full of all the uh, utensils, the uh, hardware that the Stooges were smacking with each other, and they pretty much went through the whole thing of uh, you know don't try this at home kind of stuff. These are all rubber tools and everything else like that, um, which I I understand why they did it. I don't think it was necessary, in my opinion. The reason why I say that is because people overreact. I understand that, you know, kids are impressionable. Kids will probably, you know, parents will probably take their kids to see this. However, a parent who's doing their job should tell their kids this. This is not the job of the people making the movie. Hmm. I mean, this is, if you're a parent, do your job. Hmm. I mean, don't leave it up to everybody else to do, to do it. I mean, I can go on a tangent with that anyway. Um, thank you. So, so they did that at the end of the movie. I mean, I some people might think it was a nice touch. I think it detracted from it. I think maybe if during the credits, if they, if they started the credits a little bit and actually done that instead of that stupid music video, that might have been better. I would have accepted that. If the credits would have started black screen and then, like, a whole second later, boom, that shows up fine but I, I guess that maybe they were wanting to keep people's attention while they still had it mm -hmm. so um anyway that's that's my uh dollar and a half and uh, which is inflation for two cents again um bottom line good movie uh if you have opportunity go check it out so see you later